Hello everyone, so in this video, let us talk about one more problem from lead code. The problem name is maximum length of pair chain. So you are given that you have an array of n pairs. Now the pair consists of left of i and right of i. So that is consisting of a pair and the left of i is always less than the right of i. And what you'll actually have to find out is a continuous chain of pairs such that they are not intersecting and they are continuous. Okay, and you have to find out the longest chain you can form from all the pairs you have in this pair set. That's your problem. So this problem is actually similar to a problem I've already made on my channel. That is the minimum number of arrows required to bust the balloons. So I will also link that particular video in the i button. You can check it out as well. So 95% of the problem is almost same. Okay, so uh, you can check out that problem as well if you want to practice more such problems. But moving on to such this problem as well. So what you'll actually have to find out is that you have different pairs. Okay, if I just draw it out. Uh, just a second. Sorry. Move this out. So what you can see is that I have different pairs. Okay, let's say there's a different, like a very large number line. There are different pairs. So let's say one pair start from, let's say this point and this point. So a pair, you can see that it starts from left of i and then end at right of i. Okay, so they are different like pairs. So let's say a pair start from two and end at like five. Other pairs let's start from let's say four and at eight. One pair starts at let's say nine and at let's say eleven. Okay, the different pairs are there. Let's say one one pair start from let's say six and at let's say seven. Okay, so there are different pairs here which is given to you. Now you have to find out a continuous stretch of non-intersecting pairs that will be formed as a chain. So you can see that if I take this as a starting uh, a pair, then this will be intersecting with this. So I cannot take this as well. So let's draw it out. This is not intersecting with this pair. So I can now take this as a pair. Can I take this as a pair? Yes, it is not intersecting. So let's say this one more pair like like this, uh, like like this like this. So Either I can take this or I can take this, any one of I can take. So the maximum longest chain I can make is of let's say length 3. So you just have to eventually have to find out the longest non-intersecting, non-overlapping uh, pairs actually. Or like, like you can say sub, sub arrays or like whatever you can say. So different pairs, non-intersecting intervals you can say. Okay. And you just have to find out that. So what is the basic approach for such a problem is that you have to first sort out these pairs according to the ends. Why? Because the end will actually help us to sort out these, uh, like, uh, what you can say, these pairs, so that whatever is the order, like the order will be maintained when we sort out by the ends. I'll tell you how, but let's remove out this part first. So whenever we are sorting out intervals, it's generally by the starting point or the ending point, but in most of the cases, it is done by ending points only. Let's say that we have these pairs like this. Or well, let's not denote it by not by like these brackets, let's say by uh, by segment. So one pair starts from here to here, one from here to here, here to here, here to here, like this. Now what you can see is that I have to sort them by the ending points. Whatever the ending, uh, let's say right of i. Whatever is the very closest will be the first element in the sorted list that we will form. So as you can see that if I just mark it as one, two, three, and so on. So this is like, let's say five, this is the first point that is encountered. So this will be the first pair inside the answer that we'll be having after sorted starting form. So let's just number it out. Number so it is one, then we'll move forward. So let's say this will come next. So it will do, then this will come. So this is three, this will come. So let's say four, five. So after the sorting out of all of them inside the second like array of pairs, this will be the order after sorting them out. Now, what it actually help us is that we can easily find out what are overlapping for a particular segment. So let's say that we are going to find a non-overlapping segment. So let's say we'll always take the first element because that is the very first point. Okay. Let's say with this. Now, because we want to find a non-overlapping, let's find out all the segments because see the next closest will be this. Okay. If you are like sorting by any other point, then this will come the next point. This will come to the next point. So it, the closest are coming very close. And thus that is actually helping us to find out what are the intersecting uh, like segments. So what you can actually say is that if I take this as a segment, what you can actually observe is that, okay, this is intersecting with this. So do not take this as a segment. Okay. I, if I take this as a segment, then I cannot take this. And what I can actually do to check it out, 
I have this in the in this uh, you can say in a sorted form. So if I take this, I will check that okay, I have taken this. What all are on the right hand side of this segment that are not intersecting or like or, or what are intersecting with this particular segment should be excluded out. So this is excluded out. Next move on to this this segment. This is intersecting with this no. So this is one of the one of the final segments that I will be taking out. Next I have to take this. Okay. So if I am taking this, can I take this four one because it is intersecting? I cannot take this, so this is excluded. So this is now include like uh, intersecting with this no so this is one of the options this one of the options next one is this and then there is stops like there is no more segment so the answer is that they are, we have taken three segments and the answer is three three contiguous non-overlapping pairs i can form that will form a longest chain that is this pair this pair and this got it so that is the pretty much simple approach here that will first sort it out and then uh, take the current segment match with all the right segments that we have and whatever in, like uh, intersecting with that exclude them what is not in, like intersecting take that as a next segment and try to again find out more segment that are intersecting with that and remove them out and just find out the non intersecting segments that's on so let's move on to the code part now so what we have done is that we have sorted them out by the ending points so this is the competitor function that we've used to sort them by their ending points now after sorting them out we have to always take the first element like the first pair obviously uh, in most of the cases and it is not empty so the answer will start from one eventually because we have taken the first segment now we will start from the second segment that is i equal to 1 and check that whether it is intersecting with the first segment that we have taken that is i equal to 0 okay and we have stored that in, in this last like you can say variable or let's say last pair in which we will be storing out what is the last pair that we have taken as an answer that we have taken account that we will be making the chain out of it and we will we will be excluding out which are not part of it like which are part of it we will be excluding out if it is not part of it we will take the next pair as the continuation of the chain that we are making okay so we will start from i equal to 1 if it is not intersecting so if pairs of i comma 0 if it is greater than so this is the current pair if the pair i comma 0 which means that the, if the current pair starting point is greater than the last ending point if the starting of the next point is greater than the last ending point which means that it is not like intersecting then it is a new segment or new pair in the chain so when we have the new pair i will mark my last as this current uh, you can say pair and then increment my total by one because now we have got a new chain like new pair that will be added inside the chain and we'll be doing this for all the particular pairs to form and elongate my chain and then the total number of pairs that we have encountered in the whole chain and that's the overall answer so the overall time complexity and space complexity turns out to be that we have first sorted them out so n log n is required for sorting this is an o of n operation to just iterate over the whole thing but this is a higher Time complexity so the overall time complexity turns out to be o of n login and that's overall logic and we have not used any extra space because this is sorting in the same vector and then we're just iterating on the whole vector so o of like no extra space is required so o of one is the space or like the time uh, space complex like space complex so that's the overall time complexity and space complexity for this problem if you still have any doubts you can mention down in the comment box thank you for watching this video till the end i will see you in the next one delay coding and bye